Good day everyone and welcome to Maths G. Uh, so today we are just uh, showing you um, a, a chatbot that we've developed uh, for uh, specifically for the expo that's happening in Botswana that is called the Innovating Education in Africa Expo. So this is just an illustration of how information can be repackaged uh, and disseminated in ways that people can uh, understand. For example, uh, a conversational chatbot will allow people to have a conversation uh, with, uh, with the material. So it's like taking your uh, frequently asked questions or, or your documents that you have and bringing them to life such that uh, people can interface with them in a meaningful way. So what we did was that we went on to the uh, Expo website and we got information. We also got information from the PDFs that um, that had information about application and stuff like that from the AU uh, website and then we said let's try bring them to life through a conversational chatbot uh, that is using natural language processing and machine learning uh, from the Google Cloud. So this is an illustration of um, uh, of the chatbot that we came up with. So here we go. Sure, let's get the test version of Dr. Matsky. Welcome to Matsky. I can tell you information on the Innovating Education in Africa Expo. Ask your question. Where is the Expo being held this year? The 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo is being held at the Piermont Gaborone International Conference Center, GICC, Gaborone, Botswana. Who is the guest of honor at the Expo this year? The event will be held under the patronage of the Commissioner for Human Resources, Science and Technology of the African Union Commission, the Minister of Basic Education of the Republic of Botswana, and 11 other ministers from Burkina Faso, Burundi, Central African Republic, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guinea, Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Uganda, Zimbabwe. So who has the African Union partnered with? Uh, for this year's Innovating Education in Africa Expo? The African Union Commission has partnered with a number of organizations. The event is being organized by the African Union Commission in partnership with the Government of the Republic of Botswana and partners including MasterCard Foundation, GIZ, VMware, UNICEF, African Development Bank, AFDB, One Campaign, Ashoka, Forum for African Women Educationalists, FAWE, Global E-Schools and Communities Initiative, GESHI, Association for the Development of Education in Africa, ADEA, UNESCO Institute for Capacity Building in Africa, UNESCO IICBA, Association of African Universities, AAU, Afrolabs, and Save the Children International. So is there prize money for the innovators exhibiting at, uh, at the Expo? The listed benefits are, one, presentation of their innovations at the Innovating Education in Africa Expo 2019, two, funding support to participate in the event, three, a chance to receive the O-Education Innovation Prize, four, publication of the innovations in the Africa Education Innovations Handbook 2019, five, membership of the Africa Education Innovators Network, AEIN, six, Certificate of Recognition for Innovation. Uh, what is the theme for the 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo? The theme for the 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo is harnessing the capacity of ICT to ensure inclusion, quality and impact in education and training in Africa. What was the eligibility criteria for innovators to be selected for the 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo? The organizing committee of the Innovating Education in Africa Expo invited submissions that met the following criteria. 
1. The innovation should be in the use of information and communication technology ICT in education. 2. You should not have been previously awarded the O Education Innovation Prize. 3. The individual submitting on his her own behalf or on behalf of an organization must be a citizen of an O member state. 4. The submission must be made by the original author or developer of the innovation, or a staff of the organization that developed the innovation. 5. The innovation must have demonstrated impact, with potential for wide dissemination in Africa. 6. The individual or organization submitting must consent to having their innovation publicized across the continent for purposes of replication. 7. Each individual or organization must submit only one innovation. Okay, so what types of submissions were allowed for you to be selected for the expo? Submissions had to be either a practical innovation or an academic paper. The submission were organized as follows. 1. For practical innovations, provide a summary description of the innovation, stating the problem it addresses, the unique outcomes that have been achieved, and the possibility of enlarging the scale of operation. Explain briefly how the innovation can be upscaled, replicated, and sustained. Use a maximum of 500 words. The innovation must not have been submitted for the African Union's Innovating Education in Africa Expo before. 2. For academic papers. Papers should present original quality research with the potential for practical application. Submit a succinct abstract of no more than 150 words, and a paper with a maximum of 1,000 words including references. So what were the languages of submission for Innovation uh, in Education Expo? Submissions were made online, in English or French languages only. And then what is uh, the Innovation in Education Expo all about? The Innovating Education in Africa Expo is a flagship event of the African Union Commission intended to showcase practical social and technological innovations aimed at enhancing access, quality, relevance and inclusion in education in order to release the potential for empowerment, employability and inventiveness. How many countries are represented at the Expo? The Innovating Education in Africa Expo is open to all African citizens involved in the education sector so ideally all African countries should be represented but it depends on who applied and how many innovators were accepted into the program. How many days is the, is the Expo? The 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo is a three-day event starting on the 20th to the 22nd of August 2019. This year it is being hosted by the government of Botswana. Uh, are there any venture capitalists uh, or funders attending the, the expo? There are some funders that will attend the expo with a view of scaling education innovations that will have the biggest impact on the African continent. AFDB will also be in attendance. Where is the expo being held, by the way? Oh. Where is the expo being held, by the way? The 2019 Innovating Education in Africa Expo is being held at the Piermont Gaborone International Conference Center, GICC, Gaborone, Botswana. Is the expo open to the public? Yes, it is open to the public but you have to register beforehand. All stakeholders in the education space in Africa and beyond are welcome to participate in the event for free. When was the Innovating Education in Africa Expo started? The Innovating Education in Africa Expo was started by the African Union Commission in 2018 and the first edition was held in the capital city of Senegal, Dakar.